Hey there, YouTube. It's JP Dunphy, your BMW Genius at Western BMW. How you doing today? So right now, I do have a mask on. I'm sure you're kind of wondering about that. That's because we do have Vila in the car with us to help us with this particular part of the demonstration, where I'm going to show you how the two different ways to pair your Apple CarPlay. This will also work for Android Auto, by the way. So just keep that in mind for all of you Android Auto people out there. So the way you're going to do this, the way most people do it, is they'll go to communications, mobile devices, Make sure by bumping to the right and going to settings that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are on. And at that point, you're going to go to the add new device, phones and CarPlay or Android Auto. While it's searching, make sure your phone is in the Bluetooth as well as your phone's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are on. And at the bottom, you'll see your BMW connected. That matches this guy right here. And uh, that is the best part right there. So after you have that connected, you say yes on here as well as pair on your phone. Now up here, you'll get one more little uh, notification. Oh, sorry. You also get the little allow syncs and favorites. Then up here, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna stick with BMW iDrive, which is just the Bluetooth, or use Apple CarPlay? After you select use Apple CarPlay, you're gonna get another prompt on your phone saying use CarPlay. You may also get one that asks about apps. Just hit ignore, that's not really necessary. The main thing you wanna do is start CarPlay. After about three seconds, it connects and says, great, fantastic, here's CarPlay. Oh, here you go, here's the apps one. Uh, if it's apps for CarPlay, allow that. That just basically allows things like uh, other music ones to come through automatically, as well as uh, using your phone for other uh, app connections that you can use, such as the parking and uh, being connected to share information faster. Anyway, with that, that's one way. Let's go and delete that phone, that phone from your or the car from your phone, please and thank you, Vila. I'm gonna go back in here and we're going to delete the device. And now for the second way to do it. This way is frankly, if you're just gonna use CarPlay or Android Auto, this way is a little more effective. If you press the apps one or the apps button right here on your main display, you'll get to this section. So if you see just this, bump to the left-hand side control, that'll bring up your installed apps, which is everything you see on the back there as well as Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So now when you go to Apple CarPlay, you're going to simply ask it to confirm that it wants Apple CarPlay, at which point it'll bring up the same option to say connect to Vila. And then on the actual phone itself, wait for it. Oops, confirm. Okay. Sorry, small technical issue. Reload. Let's go back to here. Apple CarPlay. Confirm the note. Three, two, one. Wait for it. There it is. Pair, pair, allow. And since you already told it to confirm CarPlay, you'll go straight to the Apple CarPlay confirm right there. And three, two, one, there it is. Sorry about the technical delay there for a second there. But that is how you will connect the two different ways for Apple CarPlay. Again, this also works for Android Auto. As long as your phone has Android Auto already on it, if it does not, download Android Auto. Make sure that your uh, Bluetooth and wireless, or uh, Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi are on at the same time as it uses both systems, Bluetooth to confirm, Wi-Fi for the actual data uh, streaming. And with that, that's how I connect your car the two, two ways to Apple CarPlay. Thanks so much for being with us. Any other questions, leave them below. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you like our videos. You know, we love to grow our channel and uh, can't do that without you guys, the viewers. So again, have a great day. Keep on motoring in the ultra drive machine. See ya.